Magma, where are you? Yeah, goodbye. Magma, let's do some destroying. Okay, I might help destroy the tree. So yeah, let's Well guys, sorry to interrupt this clip. This little clip is being recorded after I have uh, complete the main recording of this video but currently it's jang week and jang week has started already during may 21st and it's going to end at may 27th means basically there we create a super super cool playlist in our in my other channel called the jang cousins and in the playlist we include all the awesome content of jang so please make sure to check out the playlist the link to the playlist will be in the description down below and also there's a little preview of what happened at the end of this video, so yeah, whatever. But roll on the intro. Roll on the intro right now. Who cares? Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Frozen and Porn over here, and today we are back in Minecraft. Yay! And apparently my boy Flory really likes to kiss me, so he's like, "Yeah, I want to kiss you." Look, I come this side. Wait, just wait. See, Flory seriously likes to kiss me, and I don't like it. But who cares? But today I am reviewing a mod called Awesome Fire Minecraft mod, which is super super cool. This mod adds in the main thing. This mod actually adds ice and fire dragons, but it's first started adding ice and fire dragons. But then soon enough, this mod grew, 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 grew. It grew even more and added even more cool mythological creatures such as cockatrices, amphitheaters, hippogriffs, hippocampi, cyclopses, gorgons, sea serpents, death worms more amazing stuff like that so today i am going to show you how to get all of them and also show you how to defeat a few of the awesome bosses in this mod too they're not much like a bosses but they are super hard to battle so let's just begin so first i want to show you guys my two dragons which i got from this ice and fire mod and they are absolutely amazing Where's the chest? Yeah. So I kept my dragons in this particular chest here. Uh, so we have a dragon horn which has Icicle, who's my ice dragon, and this dragon horn was Magma, who's my fire dragon. And this dragon over here, Wiss, he is not from the Ice and Fire mod. He's from the Dragon Mons mod, which I'll review soon, don't worry. Okay, so first let's bring out Icicle. Icicle, he's super massive. Icicle is definitely one of my massive guys. Next, we have Magma. She's also very massive. Wait, Magma is she? No. Magma is boy. I thought Magma was a girl. Who cares? But we have Magma over here, who is also super amazing. Look at Magma. Look at Icicle. I have shown Icicle in my one of my other videos, but this is the first time I'm showing Magma to you. So you can apparently even ride these dragons and do complete chaos. Wait, I'll show you. Just if I can, yeah. See, I can ride Icicle. I can fly using Icicle just if I know how to fly. How to fly. Wait, let me see how to fly. Okay, sorry guys, I forgot how to make your dragon fly, but still it's super cool. Just look at me. On icicle. This is super amazing. Just if I knew how to fly with my dragon. But still, I can do, I can make the icicle breathe. Oh, uh, ice fire and stuff. Look at that. Amazing. Wait, one second. Okay, so look at this. Yeah, so I can make everything ice using the ice filled ice bread, which is super super cool. And I really like it. And using Magma's fire bread, I'm able to make everything into fire. But first, I may need a dragon horn. Uh, and where's my dragon stuff? 
Yeah, here it is. To, drag, to grab the dragon staff. Uh, yeah. So to grab the dragon staff, it's like just like this. You need to keep one stick and that skull, two sticks and skull, whatever. So let's just grab the ice dragon command staff. I mean the normal dragon command staff. So I can. Uh, I don't want to die here in underwater. Okay, good. So now I can apparently. Icicle, just if I see a Icicle's hitbox, okay, yeah, so I can make that, uh, my Icicle is caught me, and she'll basically follow me, wander, she'll wander, stay, she'll stay there, so now let's ride Magma, who is also super powerful and can destroy, set everything on fire, and it's super cool, okay, Magma, where are you, yeah, goodbye, Magma, let's do some destroying, Okay, I might have destroyed the tree. So yeah, that's super super cool and you can do super amazing stuff. The dragon staff, I guess I need to keep it with me. Let's make them go back in the dragon horns and in the dragon staff go with them in their chest. So you can use the dragon horn to basically keep them in and to grab the dragon horn all you need to do is this. So let's make Icicle also go in his dragon horn. Okay, good. Now we have both of them in their dragon horns. Let's go to the next part of this mod. Go in their magma, go in their icicle, go in their dragon horn. Good. So we have all of that done. Now let's go to the other cool parts of the mod after, uh, as we are done with the main part of this mod. So let's see the beast TRB. Okay, so uh, let's actually, I'll show you how to tame your own dragon. So you may need these dragon eggs, which you will get once you defeat a dragon, a actual dragon. You will find generation structures such as dragon caves. So you will need to, them to generate there and then find the dragons. So that you can give your dragon or uh, cool armors and stuff. Maybe for this episode, I'll grab a fire dragon, because it's cool, and I'll give my fire dragon and golden armor. Just keeping the golden armor with myself. And the dragon meal, which makes your dragon grow faster. And maybe I may need some netherrack. And I may also need some flint. Okay, now let's make my baby dragon in my attic. Please don't burn down my attic. So what you all you want to do is place the dragon egg there, grab the flint and steel, and place it there. For ice dragons, you need to place them in water. For fire dragons, you need to make them all hot and stuff. So that's cool. Oh, 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 oh I'm dying. Okay, good, I didn't die. So now, the, while the dragon's trying to hatch, let's see the other cool stuff which you can do. What happened to my wings? My wings kind of glitched out. Okay, yeah, my wings completely glitched out. Cool. So now, the next part is, let's see the bestiary. So the bestiary is a thing which you may need in this mod. You'll get this bestiary with no knowledge, but as you grab manuscripts that generate in dragon caves, you can increase your knowledge in the bestiary. So it shows you everything about this mod. Uh, you can tame hippogriffs in this mod. You can have yeah, there are you can make dragon forge with using which you can create super powerful uh, weapons like this month. So yeah, this is super super cool. So now let's tame. Let's try to tame a cockatrice. The best way to tame a cockatrice is chickens. Chickens will now drop something. There's a chance for chickens to drop something called the uh, this thing. Rotten eggs. And rotten eggs have a slight chance of doing something. Okay, my house is burning down. Cool. Great. So rotten eggs have a chance of spawning in a cockatrice, a baby cockatrice. There'll be wild cockatrices roaming around your world which will try to kill you whatsoever. So let's see a baby cockatrice. 
So we need a lot of rotten eggs. Let's just grab all of those rotten eggs. I have one cockatrice of my own, which I got, and it grew big. It's just over there, flurry, I named it flurry. So let's see. Whoa, I got three baby cockatrices. I want more. Good, I got many baby cockatrices. Look at these guys. I made them follow me. Everybody, follow me. I have an army of baby cockatrices now. I just need to make them follow me. Bro, you need to follow me. Nice. Now I fell. Now I'm falling down. Okay, maybe one cockatrice is enough for me. So the two variants of cockatrices, as you saw, there was a white one somewhere which just ran away, and there are these yellow ones. So yeah, that's super cool. That was as we got the cockatrice out of the way. Let's go with hippogriffs. So hippogriff and the way to tame a hippo, you can give a hippogriff an armor. Let's give this hippogriff an iron armor. I already have a few hippogriffs of my own on the top of my house over here. My house is seriously burning down. But I have two hippogriffs of my own over here. Let's get a new one just for this video. Just cause we can. I'm just gonna let them into the wild after this video is over so don't worry. Where do you come here from? Okay. So bro i want you to come with me okay no follow okay so we need rabbit's foot yes you need a rabbit's foot let's grab 64 of the rabbit's foot let's spawn that please don't attack me these girls will, these guys will apparently attack you sometimes take all the rabbit's foot good now i tamed it so if the hippogriff bows down to you means you tame the hippogriff i'll give you your nice armor and a saddle now i can ride him super cool i can fly with him i can make him come down i can make him attack stuff he'll just do some sort of scratching with his feet so that's nice you can stay there so after hippogriff, now let's see about an amphitheater. Did my dragon egg hatch yet? No, it's still there. So let's see an amphitheater. So as you can see, well, my little cover tries is here. So amphitheaters, so uh, that's cookie over there. Amphitheaters really like cookies for some reason. So I named my amphitheater cookie. So amphitheaters roam around jungles, forests, and other cool stuff. So you can tame them over there. So let's grab myself an uh, amphitheater, amphitheater, yeah, nice. So I got an amphitheater, and to tame amphitheaters, it's pretty tricky. So I'm going to grab myself the infinity suit of armor. I haven't reviewed the, inf the Avrita mod also, but I will review the Avrita mod soon. If you like this video only. So amphitheaters are pretty tricky to tame. Uh, you need to jump on their back. Bro, I need to tame you. So after you go on their back, they'll start biting you, which will make you take damage. That's why I bought the infinity suit of armor, which is glitched out right now. Why is everything glitching? Okay, fine. So it's completely glitched out currently, and they'll start biting you, and once it gains the trust of you, it'll listen to you. Good, now I tamed it. You can fly with it. Super, super cool. I tamed an amphitheater now. I'm gonna make this amphitheater sit down. Bro, you need to sit down. Okay, it's just gonna wander, wander away. Bro, I need you to sit. Okay, nice. Bro, sit down. Good amphitheater. Yeah, good. Now it's sitting. So, now let's go on to the cool bosses which this mod has. Yeah. So apparently there are uh, also a few cool weapons which this mod has. So let's grab those weapons and try to take down these uh, next guys who are going to be super powerful. Let's grab the fire sword, the ice sword. Let's grab a bow, bone bow. Let's grab all of these. So now let's battle and cyclops. Cyclops are super super powerful. 
Um, my child will just keep this infinity suit of armor for the rest of the video because it's cool. And I'm completely glitched out. So for Cyclops, uh, it's a little tricky. So let's grab myself a Cyclops spawn X Cyclops. Really low sheep. There's another way to kill Cyclops. But I'm just gonna go with the most effective way, which I at least I think is the most effective way. Bro, don't eat my thing. Bro, I need to kill you. So you need to apparently shoot in his uh, in his eye. See, so now I shot in his eye, so he can't see anything. So I can move away and go for the kill. I'm wearing the infinity armor, so I'm not taking the damage whatsoever. I'm just gonna destroy this guy's face. Let me also use the ice sword. The ice sword makes people slow, get mining fatigue, and all stuff like that. So yeah, I need to kill this guy now. I guess the fire sword is the best. Whoa, Torn, why are you here? Fine, Torn, you might all, you might as well try helping me. Okay, I guess my cockatrice died. This guy's taking no damage whatsoever. Amphitheater buddy, you need to help me here. Okay, this is not good. Okay, he has 62 health left. We might as we might be able to take him down. 15. Why is he taking no damage whatsoever? Okay, maybe to just fast uh, boost this up, I might use the Sword of Cosmos, which also comes from the Everytha mod, which I didn't review. Done. K.O. I just wanted to make this thing get over with fastly. So now let's go with the Gorgon, who is supposedly super powerful. So I need to wear a blindfold. So wearing this blindfold makes me get blindness, which is kind of glitchy in my world. So I can take the advantage of the glitchiness of the blindness, and I can destroy this Gorgon. So, when, so Gorgon will basically turn you into stone if you remove the blindfold. I'll just show you. I remove my blindfold. Girl, see me. See? Now I have turned into a stone. Let me just wear my blindfold back. Everyone's panicking. See, now I'm a stone there. So one, if you remove your blindfold, she'll try. She'll have to use physical melee attacks, which are more or less powerful. Why is this sword super weak? I have no idea. So yeah, let me just kill her. Can you guys hit her? Thorn and Marlin, why are you not caring about her at all? I know she'll turn you into stone, but I have ways to revive you. So let's destroy this girl now. Uh, she has 27 health left. She has 100 health, which is super great. Bam, she died. And once you get her head, you can turn anything into stone with her head. But it's kind of cool. Like, you can only use it once in survival mode, but in creative mode, you can use it forever. So, yeah, let's try to turn something into stone. Let's turn the sheep into stone. In survival mode, you can only use it once. In creative mode, you can use it multiple times. See? Now that the cow, sheep, pig, whatever it is, is a stone. I forgot what it was, I, I, honestly. So yeah, there are a few other mobs in this mod which we didn't check out and I want to see whether a dragon just hatched. So if your dragon hatches, you need, you can eventually, okay, it hatched and it ran away. Wonderful. I have a baby dragon on the loose, but whatever. I'm just going to tell you what you need to do. Once your dragon hatches, all you need to do is pretty much give it armor you can uh, use a drag you can feed it dragon meal to bo boost up its uh, growing process and if you shift right click it'll open its in little inventory sort of thing where you can give it armor see how old it is and all other cool stuff like that so yeah well i guess that's it for this little video and my armor is completely glitchy and i don't care so i guess that's it for this video it's super amazing i really love this i can fire mod is one of my most favorite mods just cause of all the amazing content and ads so like this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel for more awesome content like this one tap the notification bell after subscribing to get notified of all videos i upload 
and a zombie just died behind me but who cares and also let me know why don't you want to subscribe if you do not want to subscribe and share this video with your friends cause i bet you your friends will also like this video if you liked it and as usual freeze in fire and burn in eyes bye also guys sorry i forgot that uh, the way to tame hippocampi is using uh, sponge and hippocampi are the fastest water beings in this world so you can pretty much go super fast in water using hippocampi and you can give them armor and other cool stuff and also i didn't show a few of the other mobs such as the sea serpent and the death worm but this video will get it a little bit too long if i do all of them so just that's it bye prison fire and burn eyes bye Hey there, don't leave right now. Please subscribe to my channel first. And also check out this video and that video before leaving. Well, bye.